Welcome to the Q On Demand podcast, your source for expert tips from the authors of the Q On Demand series. For more information on the topics covered in this podcast series and for bonus online content, visit qondemand.com forward slash podcast, home of the visual, color, step-by-step reference guides for all your CS4 learning and more. Hi, I'm Steve Johnson, and welcome to another edition of Q On Demand podcast. Today we're going to be looking at live pre-flight in InDesign CS4. Many times when you open up a document, uh, there may be some errors or some things that uh, may not work well when you're actually going to go ahead and print a document. Now I work with books, and so when I prepare a book, I need to make sure that that book doesn't have any errors such as missing fonts or that graphics don't leak out onto the sides of the pages so that when I send it to a commercial printer, everything's going to go smoothly. And so before I send a file off, I need to make sure that there's no problems or no errors. Well, InDesign CS4 allows you to be able to check for errors live as you're creating your document. So you don't have to wait till the end of the document before you're all finished with it. And then you actually say, oh no, there's some problems, I have to go back and fix those. What this live pre flight allows you to do is to be able to go in, as you're creating the document, you can actually discover, oh, there's a problem with that, and go ahead and fix it right away. And so when you get to the end, there's not gonna be any surprises. So let's go ahead and look at this document. This is a table of contents um, for the Photoshop application. You'll notice on the bottom of the screen, there is a red dot, and that indicates there are problems with your document. It also indicates the number of errors right next to it, in this case, 104. And if you point to it, it'll uh, give you a tool tip in terms of what is wrong with that little area. Now, right next to it, you'll notice that there is an, uh, an arrow. That's the pre-flight menu. If you go ahead and click on that, you can go ahead and enable pre-flight um, for just this document, or you can enable pre-flight, live pre-flight for all documents uh, in CS4. Let's go ahead and look at the pre-flight panel. And the pre-flight panel is a panel that allows you to be able to look at all the different problems <laughs> that are associated with your document. In this case, um, this document is just missing a lot of fonts. So many times when you open up a document on your machine, you have all the fonts installed, but when you open up your document on another machine, you may not have those fonts. So in this case, that's what the problem is. And so you can go ahead and use these arrows inside the pre-flight uh, panel, and you can go ahead and click on those to display the different areas in your document where problems exist. And so you can go ahead and say, well, gosh, where is that exactly? And I can double click on it, and we'll actually select in your document uh, the problem areas. And so using the pre-flight panel is a great way to be able to discover all the different problems that you have in your document as you're creating the document instead of doing it all at the end. And so live pre-flight is a time saver definitely in the end. For more information and bonus online content, visit qondemand.com forward slash podcast, home of the visual, color, step-by-step reference guides for all your CS4 learning and lots more, qondemand.com forward slash podcast.